for our water main replacement project in the area of Emanuel Cleaver's Second Boulevard to Topping Avenue from East 39th Street to East 43rd Terrace. We wanted to welcome everybody tonight. Thank you for joining us virtually uh, for our public meeting. I wanted to go over, we'll get through, go through introductions here in a second, but I wanted to go over a couple of logistics um, and protocols since we are doing a virtual public meeting instead of doing these in person currently. Um, this meeting is being recorded. Um, we will post the recorded meeting onto our Kansas City Water website. Um, probably in the next day or two. So it'll be available to share with neighbors um, or to watch to, to recap anything that you might have missed. Um, if you have questions, um, this is a Teams meeting, and so you can, we do have a conversation feature in the Teams, the Teams meeting features. Um, so you can write a chat in the chat or you can raise your hand and we will call on you if you have a question um, during the presentation. Please, if you do have any questions, um, it's this is an interactive meeting, so ask them as they come up. If you are participating by phone and you wish to ask a question, just uh, politely interrupt us, address the, the speaker, and, and we will take your question um, as you have them. Alternatively, you could also wait until the end of the meeting and we will have a time for questions at that point. If you still have questions at the end of the meeting, um, the project manager, Christian, his contact information will be on the slides and you can contact him anytime after this meeting with additional questions that you may have. So I wanted to introduce our project team that we have here tonight. We do have Jeff Martin. He's the Chief Engineering Officer for the Water Services Department. I am Melanie Jollett. I'm the Water Distribution Division Head here at Kansas City Water. And we have Christian Hoyos. He's our Project Manager for the project. We also have Prima Rayleigh. She's our, she will be our inspector on the project as well. Uh, Bill Clark and John Wright from Pyramid Excavation and Construction haven't quite joined us yet, but they too hopefully will join us in a couple of minutes. Um, they will be actually the contractors working on the project. I know we also have Terry Leeds, our director for water services on the call as well. Terry, I'm not sure if you wanted to say hi or say anything before we get going with the meeting. Nope, carry on. Okay, thanks Terry. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to give some background on um, kind of water services um, and then I'm going to go into background on the water main replacement program and then Christian will get into details of this specific project. So first to talk about kind of the background of and the overview of Kansas City Water Services, I'm going to turn it over to Jeff Martin. All right, thanks Melanie. So uh, good evening everybody or whatever time of day you're watching the recording. So. Uh, this slide is just to kind of help remind everybody that here at KC Water, we are actually three utilities in one. So we're not only your, your water uh, utility provider, which we're here to talk about tonight. We're also your wastewater utility provider and your stormwater utility provider. So all three of those utilities really tie back to our water source here, which is the uh, Missouri River. So it's kind of a nice focal point to uh, tie all three together. So. Next slide kind of talks about uh, the three utilities and, uh, and what each is. So when you receive your, your bill every every month, so you'll actually see information regarding each of the services that we provide and a breakdown of those, those costs. So um, just uh, just whenever you're, you're looking at that, just remember that uh, it's not just the water services that you're getting from us, but it's also the wastewater and the stormwater. So. Next slide, in order to, uh, to provide all those services for you, requires a large number of assets. So uh, we've kind of broken it down into the buckets for our three utilities here. So the top one really talks about our, our water utility with the uh, the water treatment plant we have, the pump station, over 2,800 miles of water mains uh, throughout the system, which uh, this this uh, project we're here talking about tonight is to replace a portion of, of those mains. Um, and then on the, uh, the sanitary sewer side, we actually have six wastewater treatment plants uh, throughout the metro area that uh, that serves uh, our Kansas City uh, customers, as well as 43 pump stations, another 2,500 miles of sewer mains, um, a large number of manholes, and uh, actually a, a farm that we maintain for our biosolids land application. And then the stormwater utility, which is kind of the uh, the the one that doesn't uh, garner much attention typically, and, and unless it's raining out, is uh, the stormwater, which we actually have 630 miles of the storm sewer pipes in the ground of the city, uh, over 46,000 inlets and catch basins to capture all that water runoff as it uh, enters the streets and goes into the system. 
as well as pump stations. And one thing a lot of people don't, don't realize, we actually have 13 miles of levees that uh, that are maintained throughout uh, throughout Kansas and Missouri uh, along the, the river system, Missouri River, Blue River, and other rivers uh, throughout the metro. So kind of a brief overview of the three utilities that uh, roll up into K2 Water and what it takes to uh, provide the services for it. Thanks, Jeff. Um, sorry, I lost my little uh, mute button there. So let me start that back up. OK, um, so yep, quick overview of um, kind of our, our source of water. And so now I'm going to give a little bit of background on our water main re replacement program. So this project that we're here talking about today is to replace uh, water main um, surrounding your neighborhood um, and your facilities. And so basically our distribution system includes about 2,800 miles of water mains. And some of these mains date back to the 1800s, 1800s. And so we do have some aging infrastructure within our system. Uh, Kansas City Water about seven, eight years ago decided to replace, to put this program together. And our goal is to replace 1%, which equates to 28 miles of water mains every year. Um, we are, we just finished up our seventh year, so we're just now kicking off our eighth year, um, even though we don't have any projects quite yet um, in the eighth year. But to date, we've placed, re we have replaced more than 200 miles of water main um, since the program has, has started. So how do we decide which water mains to, to replace and when to replace them. So Kansas City Water really, we've, we've really invested in this program and we've recently purchased a software program called Info Asset Planner. And this is kind of an asset management tool and it works with our GIS, um, which captures all of our assets um, within the distribution system. And it helps us look at likelihood of failure and consequence of failure of each individual pipe within the distribution within the distribution system. So we're able to evaluate things like age of pipe, um, how many breaks a pipe has seen, um, material of the pipe, you know, whether it's cast iron or um, ductile iron, you know, whatever the material is, but we're able to evaluate different conditions of this pipe and then establish, evaluate the likelihood and consequence of failure to establish a risk. And so every year we run, we run all of our um, infrastructure through this program and we identify the highest risk mains. And then we develop 28 miles of projects um, to, replace, uh, to replace those water lines. All of our projects, all of our new mains are designed to be ductile iron pipe. Um, they're zinc coated as well and wrapped in a polyethylene polyethylene sleeve. And this basically gives those pipes a very long life lifespan. And so the new infrastructure, because it should last another 100 years, um, it really does improve our service to our customers. And there will be less breaks. Um, this will reduce maintenance costs. And it actually, a lot of times, the older cast iron pipes get tuberculated, which means the inside of the pipes get, get filled with um, debris and um, deposits from the cast iron pipe. And so by putting in the new pipes, we have a, a bigger, a larger inner diameter. We're able to improve um, capacity and fire protection in those pipes that we do replace. And so now I'm going to turn the project, the presentation over to Christian Hoyos, our project manager, and he's going to go through kind of the specifics of this project um, and things that will impact you day to day as we as we move forward on this project. So Christian. Well, thank you, Melanie. Hello, um, I'm Christian Hoyos. I'm the Casey manager, uh, Casey Water Project Manager responsible for this project. Um, so here we're looking at the scope of the map or the, the boundaries. Uh, we're looking at replacing about 9,100 linear feet of uh, break prone water mains. Uh, if we look at the map on the east, on the west side, we can see Oakley Avenue, uh, 39th Street, 39th Terrace, 40th Street, and 40th Terrace. And this area is the heavily residential area that uh, you go, you're probably going to be seeing us up there. Um, we are. We have approximately a mile of uh, water main that is going to be replacing replaced over there. And if we look on the on the on the east, uh, we have Topping Avenue going into Clark uh, Clary Boulevard. And in this area, we will be replacing the 16-inch transmission main. 
uh, it's going to be approximately 3,700 linear feet of it. And on Clary Boulevard, we're going to be working with all the businesses and the commercial um, area. Um, and we go to the next slide, please. So what should we, what should you expect on your block? So uh, you should probably see utilities uh, coming up and um, verifying locations and elevations, whatever is existing on the ground right now. Um, traffic control will be implemented. Uh, we will be so cutting the pavement and excavate a narrow trench and then bury the pipe on gravel. So a little more in the traffic control. Um, as a resident, you will always uh, have access to your home, even if uh, there might be temporary chats on the on the streets, but there is always going to be a single lane open temporarily at the very least. And if, for instance, there is a trench open in front of your driveway or your the, the place where you're going to be driving on, uh, the contractor will help us to uh, put a temporary uh, steel plate for you to drive on. So I just wanted to make you aware of that and uh, all it takes is uh, communicating to the contractor and they will help us out in this uh, in this regard. So then um, going on to the next point, uh, we will be constructing a temporary connection where we're going to be testing and disinfecting the new water main. Um, here, uh, this, might, this process might take a week or more and you might not see too much activity because we will be waiting on the test to come back. So once we have the a test that the, the, the main the, the main is good to go, you will see your first outages where we're gonna be connecting the new water main to the existing system. So uh, I'm gonna open a parenthesis here and, and mention that we're gonna have at least three um, as a minimal three outages. And this will be all scheduled and you will be notified with uh, with enough time for for um, to have uh, for you to know that the water is going to be turned off. So uh, you will be uh, having a communication pro from the contractor and, and they will be letting you know that the water has been coming off. So with both the new and the old pipe and service, uh, the transfer service will take place to the new pipe. And here's where your second outages will happen. And if your water meter is inside, we will move it outside to the to, to your yard. Then we will be constructing the permanent connection and abandon the old water main. And here's when we can see the third outage, outage uh, where we are going to connect the second end of the main that is installed in your street to be the permanent service. Then uh, we'll begin working on restoration. Some of them will be temporary, most of them will be permanent. Uh, we'll be working on curbs, sidewalks, driveways, and if the season is dry, the weather is correct, any lawns that have been disturbed. So if we go to the next one, Melanie, please. And I think just really quick, quickly, Christian, I will add yeah. that that while we do plan for three outages, we will have a minimum of three outages. There's also the potential that we might have some unplanned outages and those will not be scheduled and we will we will do our best effort to resolve those outages as quickly as possible. But just wanted to make everyone aware that there is a possibility that there could be outages that we haven't planned for. All right, thank you, Melanie. So uh, what should you be expecting in your area? So there will be large, large equipment, construction equipment that will be creating noise and dusty conditions that will be kept to a minimal. Um, we already touched on the water being interrupted for short periods of time. And as Melanie mentioned, um, there might be some unscheduled shutdowns and, and we will treat this and try to resolve it as, as soon as possible. Uh, any effective driveways, pavement, and anything else will be restored per the KCMO Public Works Department standards. Any loans that were disturbed will be sought after the work is completed. And, and like we talked about already, the season permits, uh, the areas will be seated later on. Um, we also touched a little bit on the traffic control and, and that normal routes might be restricted, but uh, rest assured that uh, you will still have uh, access to to your street. 
And we should remember that we're doing all this to prevent uh, water main breaks in the future and to enhance uh, fire protection in your neighborhood. So if we go to the next slide, um, it's a little representation of uh, what your street kind of looks like. Uh, the red line um, defines the right of way and what the customer responsibility is and what the KC water responsibility will be. So as we can see, um, inside the curb stop uh, is where your meter should be. In this example, the water meter is inside the home, so this water meter will have to be relocated to the to the front lawn, somewhere inside your right of way. And with the purpose of maintenance and, and facility for our, our staff to, to take care of the meter. If you go to the next slide, please, um, we can see uh, the sample of how it should look like. So this is what most of uh, most of our customers have the water meter already located in the outside, but there's some few of them that will get a new uh, water meter and this won't be incurring any cost to you uh, as part of the project already. Uh, on the next slide, um, a little bit of schedule logistics. So this anticipated uh, start date, I would say it will be late May, beginning of June. Um, like mentioned before, we should start seeing probably people doing uh, utility locates and, and maybe taking some pictures of the area before the construction begins. So once this is com this is done, uh, we anticipate that we should be done by November of this year. And um, depending on the weather and the season, uh, this might be extended a little more to make sure that your loans are uh, um, established. Um, any more information? Again, uh, we can always uh, go to our website and check on the projects and current projects to find um, this presentation. And um, the postcard that was sent to you is a great resource as well. Um, and you can always email me. Um, again, I'm the, the project manager uh, responsible for the representing the KC Water. And my number is there, my email. You can always also uh, email the superintendent, um, Bill, Bill Clark with Pyramid, and, as well as the project manager, John Wright. And I know we have uh, Prima Rally with us. She will be our, the inspector that will be taking care of everything and making sure that the, the pipe is installed correctly and up to the KC water standards. And Prima, if you have any idea, have you talked to the, um, to the contractor uh, this week and any changes on where we're gonna start or anything, do you have any idea? I have not heard back from them as of this point. I'm hoping that he'll call me back tomorrow and we can get an idea of uh, at last talk, they were going to start on the north end of Cleary and clearing the, the brush and mm -hmm. getting their connect set and equipment brought in. But I, at last talk they didn't have any of that together so correct that that's the same thing i heard thank you prima and with this i will turn it in for questions see if we have anybody in the chat or in a phone call that would like to ask any questions so christian i'm going to keep this slide up here so that contact information stays on the screen can you yeah. monitor the chat and see if there are any um any questions yes i've there? been looking i've been looking the whole time okay and we don't have any no there's uh, i don't see anybody else that joined the meeting besides us from okay. the beginning okay all right well thank you christian um for the for the explanation of what to expect with this project um, that pretty much concludes our presentation. If there are any questions, I'm going to put this slide back up here. Please, um, please reach out to Christian or to Bill Clark um, if you have any questions whatsoever regarding this project. And like Christian said, jump onto our website um, under current projects, and that's where this presentation will be saved. And so with that, I want to thank everybody for, for attending and listening to the presentation, and um, I hope everybody has a good evening. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Thank you.